and my name is Jonathan. I'm Wyatt. This is Art of Fun. Welcome to our 30 Day Simple Art Challenge. Today, I will be drawing a shark in the ocean sea made out of geometrical patterns. Okay. And for this, I am challenging myself to make the shark out of geometrical patterns. For this, I will need watercolor, black outliner, ruler, pencil, paintbrush, tape, and paper. You know, I think you should strive to be more less messy and less dark. Okay. Anyways, let's get started! Okay. So first I am making some half circles, triangles for the seaweed, and then just like a circle for the rock. And I'm making the shark with like a kind of half circle kind of thing. Oh, okay. Hey, Wyatt. Yeah? I noticed something. What? When we first started the geometrical abstraction, we first started drawing the shapes, then we gave the shapes a meaning. But with the shark drawings, we first got a meaning, and then we drew the shapes. So far of this painting, what do you think about it? Well, I can't say a lot because this painting is still below 50% done, but I think it's going to be a really amazing painting. Oh, thank you. Hey, Johnny, do you know who created geometrical abstraction? Or do you know more about geometrical abstraction? Well, um, I don't really know who created geometrical abstraction, but I do know a lot about geometrical abstraction. So let's talk about that. So geometrical abstraction on the surface it looks like it's basically just a bunch of shapes, right? Wrong! It's actually... It's actually a lot of meaning. So if we look at your shark and my shark, um, you can see that your shark is more rounder. It has more round things, as mine is only like... Um, rectangles, triangles, and squares. So we're both drawing the same things, like a shark, but we're probably conveying like different emotions and expressions. Do you agree? Yeah.
Hey Wyatt, it's really smart that you chose to use watercolor since you're drawing like an underwater scene, you know? It's like, yeah. because it already can blend very well, although in geometrical abstraction, you don't even need to blend. But yeah, that was one of the flaws. Even I really wanted to use watercolor, except it, it was hard not blending. Yeah. But it does show off that watery texture. Yeah. So why do you like sharks so much? Well, I feel like they're, they're super fascinating and it's just really interesting about how they work and then just like how what they do and they just look amazing. Yeah, I would agree. What's your favorite shark, Wyatt? Probably my favorite shark is the poor beagle or the rusher shark. Can you guess my favorite shark? Hmm, let me guess. Great white. No, actually, my favorite shark is the Mako shark. Oh, ma the Mako shark? Yes. Not Mako, it's Mako. <laughs> it's like the tomato tomato. Another shark that I also like is called a Megalodon, but no one cares about them because they are dead for a few hundred years. Uh, this painting and the one we used for the outro is different because this one has thicker outline and the one in the outro has thinner line. If you like this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on notifications by hitting the bell below if you want to get notified every time we post a new video. See you next episode! Click here to see our previous episode. Click here to see what YouTube recommends you watch next. Click right above my head to subscribe. Bye-bye.